Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here, and thank you to the organizer for uh, inviting me to have this uh, a brief introduction about my poster that focuses on the derivation of polycollagenic dermopapilla cells from human use pluripotent stem cells. Uh, millions of Oh, excuse me. Millions of people suffer of androgenetic alopecia. That is one of the most common form of hair loss. And despite the name, it doesn't occur in men only, but actually affects a lot of women as well. Although it's not a life-threatening disease, hair loss is uh, related to uh, reduction in quality of life, a depressive episode, and a diminished self-esteem. What is behind the hair growth is this structure that is called hair follicles, and these uh, mini organs, very complex, that originate before we are born, and is composed of different types of cells, among which keratinocytes, or dermopapilla. Dermopapilla is very unique and very well-defined structure at the bottom of the hair follicle, and plays a really critical role in defining the hair thickness, length, and uh, cycling. By knowing this, we started wondering how we could regenerate a hair follicle to overcome baldness. And uh, we started exploring the uh, regenerative medicine approach based on the use of human-induced pluripotent stem cell by differentiating the stem cell in the hair-forming cells by combining them in a scaffold and transplanting them in vivo. The reason why we were focused on dermopapilla is because with aging, Normal papilla cells are reduced in number and they lose uh, their functionality, eventually leading to hair loss. So our first step in uh, the experimental design was to develop a new protocol to derive the dermal papilla cells from the uh, human pluripotent stem cells and to optimize an already existing protocol to originate epithelial stem cell from the induced uh, pluripotent stem cell. We then characterize either the dermopapilla cells, uh, considering and uh, looking at the protein markers expression, and by looking at the uh, gene profile on a single cell levels, and we characterize the epithelial stem cell based on uh, protein markers. They were very well known to characterize these cells and to look at the uh, gene uh, profile by uh, qPCR. Then we uh, decided to provide uh, these cells with uh, appropriate environment, a 3D environment, and to enhance the crosstalk that is really important for the epithelial cells and the dermopapilla cells to regenerate an hair follicle. And we uh, um, basically uh, fabricated this biodegradable microscaffold that we call LOLIAP for its particular um, uh, shape. In partnership with our collaborator, we follow every single step of the development of the Lolly app, starting from the design, the manufacturing, and the development and the loading of the Lolly app. To load the Lolly app, actually, we had to create it a specific and customized micro wall. That is an agarose uh, micro wall, which has resection that are able to host a single lolly up in each micro wall. The very close proximity between the cells and the scaffold enhances spontaneous migration of the cells in the scaffold within the ballpark. And after three days, we were able to see a successful loading of the cells, and actually, we noticed some cell crawling along the road. At the end, we had to test it, the ability of these, uh, um, this construct, like the epithelial cells, the dermopapilla cell within the lolly up to generate hair follicle in vivo by transplanting them into the back uh, of the nude mice. And what we observed that after 20 days upon transplantation, some hair were emerging on the surface, and they were growing and cycling during the entire time of observation. Surprisingly, just recently, we noticed that in vitro, spontaneously, the combination and the co-culture of epithelial cells with dermopapilla cells created these organoids that actually resemble a lot the hair follicle. And this structure can have a really fascinating potential for uh, dress screening in the future. If you would like to hear more detail about my project, please stop by at my post at spot 18. Thank you.